Happy Monday, and I got good news for you as XRP gets relisted. We're going to talk XRP price action at the end, but a little bit of a fear as the ETH BTC charts take a downturn. Are the rest of the alts going to pivot with them? And we're going to... Due to the graphic nature of this program, listener discretion is advised. You bet listener discretion is advised when you're watching a program like mine. But before we get into the crypto, let's get into you. Whoa, that sounded naughty this morning. Let's get to your comments. I slept for 11 hours straight. I'm well rested. We're going to let it fly today, kiddos. JC3 NFT says, Hi. How many times has an ETF announcement been a nothing burger? All of them. Remember, it's the economy, stupid. Well, now it's the liquidity, stupid. Yeah, the ETF, though, did bring some pump to XRP. It did bring some volume to it. So I'm not going to ignore that. Now, I am going to agree. The economy is a bigger factor. Joe Kindle says October 7th make or break. My hope, Joe, is that a few days beforehand we get the old nod from Gare Bear saying, look, I simply don't care. Tiberi George says, love this reality breakfast for me. Thank you for joining us in the morning. Land Cruiser 77 says, I lost it when get a Porsche, get laid. For real, for everyone out there that's like, oh, Lambo, this Lambo. That. Have you ever driven one? They're not fucking comfortable. Get a Porsche. Trust me on it. Get a fucking Porsche. And oh, look who I got up on my screen. My Ray girl. She's having little problems with her Caesars. That's why she's hanging out with dad today in the studio down there with the blue lights. Oh, I love my doggies. Bitcoin sitting at 58,590 E2302. Whoa, is the ETH BTC chart telling us that the alts are going to plummet soon? BNB at 547 while Souls at 131. XRP at 57. Two price action at the end. A lot of the alts that pumped bigger pulling back heavy. ICP, Near, Link, Arm, Optimism, Adam, Quant. A bunch of them pulling back. Render pulling back as well. Tau. Oh, blood across the screen. But we got Jerome Powell this week, and you know what I mean. As the ETH BTC dumps to historic lows, altcoins likely to tank next. Yeah, have you looked at the chart of, say, like, XLM to BTC, XRP to BTC, Link to BTC? It's bad. BTC has been definitely winning the store of value play and has definitely not been facing the same pressure as the rest of the market. For instance, you see BTC down here 2.5%, and then you see NEAR down 6, ICP down 7, IMX down five, ARB down six, so BTC goes down a little, the rest of them go a little bit more. Notably, the downward trend in Ethereum's performance relative to Bitcoin began in September 2022 after ETH transitioned to POS. Doesn't sound for piece of shit or stand for piece of shit, but it sure looks like one. Since then, the ETH BTC pair has plummeted by 53%. Seriously, the idea that miners, right, mining stuff, is an incentive is absolutely true. Why are players mining BTC? Because you can make money on it. David Schwartz says, what's the best incentive? No incentive at all. You're fucking dumb. Tell your kids that. You know what your incentive is for doing chores? Jack shit. No, be like, yo, you do your chores, I'll give you 15, 20 bucks. Oh, you want to wash my car? I'll give you another 15, 20 bucks. Don't wash the Lambo though. That's a piece of shit. Wash the Porsche. You get my point though, you need incentives and with BTC and mining, you have incentives. According to Cowan's projections, ETH BTC could be nearing its bottom soon. He suggested that the pair might see support between 0.03 and 0.04 before trending in 2025. While times remain uncertain, Cohen believes that a bottom could form early this week with the worst case scenario pushing recovery in December. I don't think you're going to see it this week because there's a bit more reports coming out in October that we're going to be paying attention to with the economy. But I thought I would share this with you because remember, I bring you the news whether it's good or bad, happy or sad. And don't feel bad because yes, even ETH is doing horribly against BTC. Now some gag news, and I'm not saying this to be mean, I'm saying this because look, I want my presidential candidates to be that. Presidential. I don't want them to be grifters. I don't want them to open up a fucking crypto exchange. I don't want them to do anything other than presidential shit. Trump announced a new crypto exchange led by sons for fucking real. I I hope Trump wins the election. I have my reasons. But damn it, this is dumb as fuck. This is cringy. This is El Cringe. Yes, El Cringe. Donald Trump on Monday is expected to announce the debut of a new crypto platform called World Liberty Financial. How about suck my fucking balls? 
that will be controlled by sons Donald Trump Jr. and Eric Trump. That's fucking great. Trump's 18-year-old son, Barron, a first-year student. I don't fucking care about that at all. Come on, man. So this 18-year-old kid's at fucking NYU, and he's like, yo, I wrote a paper on DeFi. Let's do it. Ah! Oh, that's going to piss people off. Seriously, when you're a political person, stay political. Get the fuck out of this other shit. I don't want Pelosi sitting here opening up a new fucking, like, gaming store where I have to buy, like, my PC downloads from her. No, I want you to be a politician. Actually, I don't want Pelosi to be a politician. But my point here is that, seriously, this is, this is a grift. This is gross. I'm sorry. The majority of these crypto projects out here are fucking grifts that don't bring any money to the table. And I seriously, I don't, I know Trump is trying to get the crypto votes and I understand that, but I don't think this was the right way to do it. XRP relisting. Yeah, but it was a bit quiet. Did you know about it? And it affects about 50% of you because 50% of you are outside the United States. So whether you're in the United States or outside the United States, maybe think about hitting that subscribe button. I know I waited a couple minutes to ask you, didn't I? Because I'm trying to be a good YouTuber. XRP price spikes 10%. As Robin quietly lists XRP, that's not why the price pumped up. The price pumped up because of the ETF listing, which brought some volume into the marketplace. We also learned now that XRP is favored over Solana for the next ETF, and Sol had like the lead for the last two months. Despite not issuing an official announcement regarding the development, Robinhood's updated asset page shows that XRP is now among the trading platform supported assets under the name Ripple. This description just triggered discussions among XRP enthusiasts with many community members informing the platform, does Ripple not run the coin? No fucking shit, but the name is synonymous. You got to get past that crap. The name is synonymous. It's a lot of people, and I know it annoys y'all out there. Oh, Stellar is doing this, Stellar is doing that. A lot of times you're talking about XLM native token. They, they, they use the name. They switch them back and forth, right? My name is Klaus, but my wife likes to call me Big Daddy Python Pipe Layer. Now, am I offended when she says that? No, either names are synonymous, okay? At the moment, XRP is only available to eligible Robinhood customers residing in the EU. Damn it, United States. With Robinhood failing to issue an official announcement about the real listing, it's unclear the company will extend its support to U.S. customers. Why not? Why, like, are we still just so confused about judges' rulings and all this kind of stuff that we're still sitting here going, can we do this? Is this legal or not? Like, for real. I'm sitting here. I've been married a few years. Within, like, the first few months, all the ground rules were set what I could, couldn't do. What she could, couldn't do. What we both could and couldn't do. Here we are, how many years later, and Robin Hood is like, yo, what can and can't we do? Yes, you can put it in that hole. It's the right hole. There is no such thing as the wrong hole. Those rules have been created. We know them. But here we are in crypto, years later, still not sure if something's an unregistered security or not. The trading platform joined a bunch of them to delist, but now they've relisted since the final judgment was issued. I've got that announcement right here. And as always, any article you see in this video, along with the other ones, will be linked in the description below. Here it is right there, Ripple XRPC. And they do the same thing. Stellar Lumens XLM, right? I mean, like, come on. Just just, just throwing it out there. Throwing it out there. So yeah, we get a relisting in Europe. And you can see the tag up on the top, the EU page. Bring us on over to price where XRP is only down 6.7% for the year. That is a good thing. Volume is picking back up here. The story over the weekend, was pretty simple we got rejected at 60 cents wrong hole fool yeah that's right and we got pushed back down we did get that support above 56 so now we're sitting range bound between 56 cents and 60 with jerome powell set to announce the rate hike by the way 50 50 chance if we're getting a 25 or a 50 and that's happened on wednesday live stream join us but that's the story right now the etf did pump us as you can see right here right up in the middle of the screen we did get some further movement from that action. The weekend saw some lower volume, which is normal. Traditional finance has kind of been, you know, dictating the hours of crypto where things are only hot during business hours. So I wake up this morning, XRP pulls back and we get the support. So now when we look at the candlesticks, we're like, okay, cool, Klaus. What can we expect when it comes to Jerome Powell? Well, let's switch it on up to the 15-minute because we got to be honest and we have to be humble. Now, if the Torres news only got us to that 59-cent mark 
And then again, if we're looking right here and we're like, look, we got resistance at 60. Jerome Powell would basically have to say he's going to give everyone a handy and a 50 basis point cut. And next meeting is going to have to be another 50 with another handy for everyone in order to get the price to break that. So don't go into Jerome Powell's Wednesday rate cut meeting with the expectation that we're going to moon. Look at it with more of the expectation. If we get a 50 basis point cut, we might be able to break through that 60 cent resistance. If we get a 25 basis point cut, although it's good, the market seems to be expecting more. So we could go sideways or pull back with a 25 basis point cut. Now on the oddity that Jerome pauses and said, look, we're going to wait one more meeting. Fuck it. I'm drinking the rest of the day. I'm going to get crossfit. I'm going to get so messed up because the market would absolutely tank if Jerome Powell paused. But I guess, is that what we're worried about right now? Is it Jerome Powell? Or are we more worried about our presidential people running, opening up their own decentralized finance crypto exchange shits? Like, come on, everyone. And I'm being completely fair with all of you here. I voted Democratic and Republican in my life. I vote based on what the issues are at the time. And I got to be honest with you. I don't want any of my politicians into crypto. I don't want them into finance. I don't want Pelosi's husband to be one of the best fucking traders out there. No. I want that separation. And that bothers me. But I get it. The crypto vote is out there and it's strong. There were, I thought I read seven or eight swing states, right, that could swing this election. A few Senate seats, Deaton's not one of them. Sherrod Brown is, Deaton is not one of them. Everyone out there is saying, look, the Warren Deaton one, that's done. They're more focusing on Sherrod Brown. That's why I shared that story yesterday. But we're looking at this and we're going, bro, do you really need more money? Do your kids need more money? Why the fuck do you got to open up some crypto shit? Like, why? Well, I'll tell you the why. The why all comes down to money because even if these people don't win the elections, it is all about money, power, and control. And you gain a lot of money from these elections from all the donations you get. You just got to claim them, do the right paperwork on them, and you get to put that money in your own pockets. Now, speaking of our pockets, our pockets are going to get a little relief here in a few days as JP comes on the mic to lower rates. Cars, homes, businesses, home equity lines of credit business expansion loans, government debt, things tied to government debt, things tied to the base rate. That's all going to go down, which means we're all going to get a little bit of relief. I like when things go down and give us relief. Rules, relationship rules, guidelines. Just like Robin Hood out here saying, you know what, we're going to relist XRP in the EU, but not in the US of A. It's because we don't have guidelines in rules. We don't know what hole is okay. We don't know what we're allowed to do, where we're allowed to put our fingers in our hands, right? I mean, we don't know what the rules are. So damn it, let's fix them. But you ain't going to fix them now because all them politicians out there trying to get your vote. We're going to have to wait till 2025 and we're going to have to hope that we see some massive changes in the political environment or else we're going to be in the status quo, not knowing where we could put this finger for the next several years. But I know where you could put this finger. This is my right hand. You could use the mouse button or your phone and you could hit the like button and subscribe button because this is pretty good juicy stuff. XRP going to moon on Jerome Powell's no, 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 no. Let's be realistic. Crypto market going to moon on that. No, no, no. Crypto market is expecting 50. Crypto market will be let down if we get 25. We get a zero, like I said, getting crossfaded. I'm going to get snickered. I'll catch you cool cats later because, yes, I did sleep for 11 hours straight. I do have my pretty little gray dog down here hanging out with me. I got to go do some lifting at the gym and play some basketball. I'll catch you cool cats later. Happy Monday and choo-choo, bitches.